Hello everybody, uh, we welcome you to this uh, topic again, water and its treatment, which is uh, unit 1b of engineering chemistry. So in the previous uh, lectures, we have discussed about what is hard water and what are the what is the composition of hard water, what is the disadvantage of using hard water for uh, household purposes or for industrial purposes or for boilers. Now, uh, let me just give you a summary of what we have discussed. Hard water is because of the presence of uh, dissolved calcium and magnesium salts. So that means calcium salts means that calcium chloride, calcium calcium uh, uh, sulfate or calcium bicarbonate now similarly magnesium salts may be uh, magnesium chloride magnesium uh, sulfate uh, or magnesium bicarbonate and uh, the use of uh, such type of water for household purposes results in uh, um, uh, decreased cleaning that means if you use such hard water for cleaning so you will be not be getting uh, a more efficient cleaning and uh, the cleaning is uh, depressed or suppressed uh, because of the presence of uh, these salts and when you use such water for cooking purposes it results in uh, uh, extra amount of fuel and energy because we know that that when dissolved salts are present in water it results in uh, the elevation of boiling point so it results in uh, 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 in more amount of heat and uh, energy so that means more uh, more heat and more energy are being consumed because of the use of hard water for cooking now uh, let us come to the uh, what are the disadvantage of using hard water for uh, boilers so this is the topic that we are going to discuss here now boilers before i discuss the problems that are uh, encountered because of the use of hard water in boilers let me tell you what is a boiler so boiler is nothing but uh, it's a closed vessel it's it is made of metal and uh, it's a closed vessel in which water is uh, passed through the boiler and it is made to heat so that means the water is heated and the water gets converted to steam because of the high temperature that is generated inside the boiler so the steam that is generated because of the heating of water inside the boiler that is that steam is used for various uh, uses like the central heating power generation uh, cooking etc now what happens if we use hard water for raising the steam inside the boiler? So the following problems, that means these are the problems that uh, are encountered uh, because of the use of hard water. The first is the scale and the sludge formation. Second is the corrosion of the boiler metal. Third is the caustic embrittlement and fourth is priming and foaming. So now we will discuss individually about what we mean by these individual terms and what type of problem exactly is encountered because of these problems. So first is the scale and the sludge uh, formation because of the use of hard water in the boiler. Now when water is uh, continuously heated in a boiler, what happens is that the water gets converted to steam. But what happens to the uh, salts that are present in the uh, water? So the salts, they will not get converted to steam. In fact, the salts, they will precipitate out and they stick to the inner walls of the boiler. So the precipitation, that means the calcium and magnesium salts that are present in the hard water uh, and this hard water is being used inside the boiler for raising the steam. What happens is that these salts, they get precipitated out. So the precipitates, they take place in two ways. So first is the scales. Scales is nothing but when the precipitate is very hard and sticky and they get deposited on the inner walls of the boiler and such precipitates, they are very difficult to remember, that, uh, to, uh, they are very difficult to remove. So that means this is called as the scale. So it is caused by the presence of calcium bicarbonate, calcium sulfate and magnesium chloride. Now when calcium bicarbonate is heated in the presence of a very high temperature, what happens is that calcium bicarbonate, they get converted to calcium carbonate and calcium carbonate we have discussed in the previous lectures that is the most insoluble precipitate. So what happens that the calcium carbonate because it is a very insoluble precipitate it sticks to the inner walls of the boiler it cannot be removed. So in due course of time this precipitate it becomes so hard and sticky that it is very difficult to remove from the inner walls of the boiler. Now let us come to the second salt that is calcium sulfate. Calcium sulfate we know that at 
uh, at as the temperature of the water increases the solubility of calcium sulfate decreases so what happens this also sticks to the inner walls of the boiler and this causes very hard precipitate and that is called as the scale now third type is the magnesium chloride now this magnesium chloride in the presence of water it hydrolyzes to get to give rise to a precipitate that is magnesium hydroxide now again this type of precipitate it results in the formation of scale now let us see what uh, disadvantage or what type of uh, problem the scales they, they can create uh, inside the boiler now first uh, disadvantage or first problem that the scales br bring about is that they lead to the wastage of heat and fuel now because why be they are bad conductors of heat so what happens is that when we are heating the boiler so the scales they will not absorb the heat that means they will lead to wastage of heat and fuel and this results in reduced efficiency of the boiler now second type of problem or second type of uh, 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 bad effect that the scales bring about is that the scales they can weaken the boiler material because of the high temperatures now the third type of problem uh, the scales bring about is that they can result in explosion due to uneven heating and cooling so as i said the scales are very bad conductors of heat so in due course of time the scales they, they can cause explosion and even and this can lead to the death of the operators that are working inside the uh, in the periphery of the boilers and scales are very difficult to remove so how you can uh, remove the scales it's very difficult to remove so what is the the only method is to use uh, the soft water uh, in the boilers so preventive method is the use of soft water now let us see the second type of precipitate that is the sludge so the if the precipitation that means when the calcium and magnesium salts they are they are actually dissolved in water but at very high temperatures the solubility decreases so that means the magnesium chloride calcium chloride that these type of salts if they are present in the uh, water the solubility their solubility decreases uh, at very high temperatures and they stick to the inner walls of the boiler but such precipitates are loose and slimy and they are they can easily be removed by blow down operation and this, the preventive method is all, all, always the use of soft water so, so as to avoid the boiler problems like the scales and the sludge now the, the sludge is a bad conductor of heat and results in wastage of fuel and heat and results in reduced efficiency so this is a diagrammatic uh, representation of the scales and the sludge on the left hand side of the diagram is the sludge so you can see that the sludges they are floating in the water and to some extent they get deposited on the inner walls of the boiler but they are very loose and slimy and this uh, black part is the boiler material and this is the water that is inside the boiler now the right hand side represents the scales you can see that the the black material that is the that is the the boiler material and inside is the water that is boiling uh, inside the boiler and the uh, the shaded part exactly uh, near to the black part is the scales so you can see that the scales are very hard deposits and they are uh, adhered to the inner walls of the boiler so this is a diagrammatic representation of the difference that you can predict uh, between the scales and the sludge now the second type of problem that can be encountered because of the use of uh, hard water in the boiler is the caustic embrittlement now caustic means uh, the uh, al alkaline nature so it is due to the presence of sodium carbonate that is present in the hard water and if sodium carbonate is present in the water that is used for boiler uh, uh, for raising the steam in the boiler is that at very high temperature sodium carbonate it converts to sodium hydroxide so you can see this reaction sodium carbonate plus water will give rise to sodium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide <coughs> and the sodium hydroxide it is highly alkaline in nature now let me remind you that sodium carbonate does not result in the um, in the hard hardness of water so the, the the salts that are responsible for hardness is the salts of calcium and magnesium but not the salts of sodium but sodium carbonate it does not result in hardness but it results in the alkaline solution so alkaline solution if you are using in the boilers is what happens is that it results in the cracks on the boiler material in due course of time it makes the boiler material very brittle so that means there are 
there are chances of explosion or there are chances of exploding the boiler material so how you can remove the sodium carbonate from the uh, from the water that uh, that can be used for boiler uh, purposes is that you can you, you can either add sulfuric acid this will help to neutralize the <coughs> alkaline nature of the water you can add sodium sulfate or you can add trisodium phosphate so these are all preventive methods but once the uh, because of the presence of sodium carbonate the caustic embrittlement if if it is uh, if it has started inside the boiler then it is very difficult to remove such type of problems so the only method is the preventive method now the third type of problem that is encountered because of the presence of uh, dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium is the foaming and the priming now let us see what is the difference between foaming and priming foaming is the formation of boil uh, fo foams so foams are nothing but uh, bubbles of water so what what happens is that when uh, steam is being exi is exiting from the boiler the foam is also coming out of the boilers and the foam it results in the wettening of the steam so the wet steam it results in uh, the uh, reduced heat content of the steam and this reduces the efficiency of the boiler and also the wet steam also spoils the machine parts priming is the violent and rapid boiling of water inside the boiler and it also results in reduced efficiency of the steam by reducing the heat content of the steam so the main cause of uh, foaming and priming is the presence of dissolved salts in water so what uh, how you can uh, um, prevent the formation of uh, such type of boiler problems is the use of soft water so what is soft water when water is devoid of any dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium it is called as soft water now the fourth type of boiler problem is the corrosion so we know we have already heard about this term corrosion it is nothing but the degradation of the metallic parts when the metal is exposed to dissolved oxygen so water when it is containing impurities like dissolved oxygen dissolved carbon dioxide mineral acids uh, dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium or any other organic matter what happens is that such dissolved matter they undergo hydrolysis and form acid now when acid is formed inside the boiler what happens at very high temperature and pressure the acid will slowly attack the metallic parts and lead to the degradation so that means how you can prevent the boiler corrosion is by using proper water treatment procedures that means by using soft water and how you can prepare soft water or how you can remove the hardness from hard water is what you will be we, we will be learning in the coming lectures so second uh, preventive method is the degasification that means we have to remove the dissolved oxygen or dissolved carbon dioxide prior to their use in boilers and the third uh, important prevention preventive methods is we can add a calculated amount of uh, any base so the base will help to neutralize the mineral acids that are formed inside the boiler and such type of corrosion can be prevented so this is all about our boiler problems that we are and that we and usually encounter due to the use of hard water during the uh, uh, raising of steam inside the boiler so how we can prevent the such problems is by the use of soft water so soft water is nothing but when water is devoid of that means when water is not containing any dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium we call that water as soft water so how we can prepare soft water from hard water is what we will be learning in the coming lectures and hope you have understood this uh, lecture and uh, uh, thank you for listening to me.